P Farms. Well, it's another day here. We're in the truck, headed down the road. Uh, by myself, unfortunately. Buddy had to work and my wife had other plans today. Which is not a big deal. Going down to look at the little Gleaner combine, see if we can get it going, running again, operable. Uh, rain's coming in. Hopefully get down here and get set up in the shed before it gets too awful bad. Probably not, knowing my luck. I've uh, got the landscape rake in tow. That was the piece of equipment they asked me if I had and would be interested in renting to them. I told them we'd work out something on the combine. Uh, they plowed up. Sorry, that's the windshield wipers. Plowed up a new piece of land. Uh, got a bunch of rocks in it, so they want to try it out, see how it would work. So we're going to unload that first. Um, try to, real quick, give you a rundown. I may already have on the combine, but of course, it's a gleaner. Uh, A2. Six cylinder AC motor, gas, uh, 13 foot grain head, two row 38 inch corn head, and a three row 30 inch corn head. Uh, my planter's set up on 38 inch rows, which is what I want for right now. I personally think the three row might be a little much for that combine. I don't know. We're going to see if we can do some trading or selling or something on the three row, uh, put a little bit of money back in the pocket. I know somebody, a real good friend that's got a two row 38 that's field ready and if he wanted to change his planter up it might swap out we'll see um, but anyway been sitting in the building for a couple of years uh since it's been running um, they actually had it out we're gonna i think he said uh harvest wheat with it uh, grandfather decided to retire and he's got a lot newer john deere combine so they bought that and have been using it uh, in place of the gleaner so we're going to see what happens. Um, I've got a new electric fuel pump, uh, some gas, you know, all the fluids, whatever. We're going to see if we can get it running. I don't know with the rain and stuff, we're going to be able to get it out and drive it around, but you know, we can turn the threshing mechanism on, see if we can get any hot bearings or anything like that. So I'll bring you along for as much footage as I can. Hopefully we'll get some since we're going to be in the drive, so it's going to be pouring down rain on us. But uh, stay tuned guys. Well, here it is. In the shed, that's awesome. It's hard to find these in the shed. We got some loose tin over there, so don't let it scare you. It scared me to death. But uh, grain head's in good shape. He put new uh, new finger guards in the reel there. Reels, bottom of it's good. Tires are dry rotted all to pieces, which that's normal but they do hold air uh back ones i'm not worried about i was told this uh this right here check the play in that i don't see any we'll get it running see how that goes um a little bit of stuff there causing some rust but the rest of it is good the floor it's got um several new sickles with it Let's see what we got here where's the tank uh like I said, AC engine, we'll get you up there here in a minute, see what we got going on. I gotta see all what I'm gonna need, but um let's step over anything here. We'll see how it does. Like I said, all the tires hold air. And uh it runs. They drove it uh down the road to a tractor show. Uh, I think of Alice Salmers get together or something a couple years ago uh, major thing is the brakes um, which that's with all of them but let's get started back on resistor uh, putting stuff back like it was uh, they're down there wide open on trying to swap a dump body over on a truck they just bought so I can't remember what he said if this coal is bad or if they borrowed it and they brought it back I don't remember but we're gonna hook everything up clean the points up just a little bit and uh, I got a remote starter switch so I can stay back here I'm gonna bump it see if I got any fire or anything if I do then we'll move on to the fuel situation so stay tuned
Getting there. guys I can't find enough wrong with it honestly to keep me from wanting it um, kind of wild to go back to a gleaner again after all this time but uh, I like this one uh, it's been in the shed here all of its life it's never set out much uh, you can tell that I like the simplicity of it it's not even as complex to me as what the K was uh, runs good no major issues with any bearings right now uh, everything works saw the uh, little black snake that we upset out of the uh, auger there but I believe this is probably going to come to IP farms uh, figure out how to haul it and we're going to go down here and do a little bit more uh, negotiating see what we can come up with stay tuned alright guys made it back to the farm uh, everything went well, negotiations went well. We will be adding the gleaner to the fleet here at IP Farms. Um, can't complain one iota about it. Uh, really enjoyed myself today. 
spend a couple hours getting something running, get it out of the shed that I think would be in the field tomorrow and do a pretty good job. Uh, there were several factors that really sold me on this combine. One being the fact that it's so easy to work on, everything's so easy to get to. Um, I mean, have to stick your arm through to the window, the little window hole there to uh, engage the unloader auger and the threshing mechanism. I love that. Second is the fact this combine, I believe, spent 90% of its life indoors. Uh, never set out much. I can tell that with just, just the shape of it. And three are the guys that I bought it from. Uh, Luke and Coleman, you guys are amazing. Really appreciate that. Everything that you did, um, they were knee deep in a project of their own this morning. Gave me a couple hours to get things acclimated, came up. I had it running by then. We had a little bit of an issue with a bearing on the, the main drive pulley off the back of the motor. It was making a noise. I was kind of at a loss. Um, we didn't really have the right puller, but we made it work. Took three of us, we got it off, packed grease in there, put the seal back, Luke got the seal out and in twice without messing it up, packed it full of grease. That enabled me to go ahead and run the combine without doing damage to that shaft or the bearing because the grease was just pretty much non-existent in there. So that'll be one. I've talked to Tim Flegel about it. Uh, those are easily uh, accessible uh, bearings to get um, and to replace, so that's not gonna be an issue. Uh, so, We'll see what happens. I think it'll really be good for the operation here. You know, don't have a whole lot to do uh, acreage wise and certainly don't have much to do at all with the combine. I might have mentioned it got a little small exhaust leak and a little oil leak and that's pretty much it. You know, the tires all pumped up today, held air. So, you know, we'll address that. Everything worked great. Even left them with the snake. <laughs> I was so glad I got that on camera. But anyway, thank you everybody for being here. Really appreciate you following the journey with me. It's one step closer to row crops again, my ultimate dream. Uh, we've got some grain truck possibilities coming up, whether it be repairing of the dump truck or just going all out on something else, we'll see. Uh, definitely stay tuned for that. Transportation, hopefully get my cousin to haul it. If he's too busy, uh, Luke, the guy I bought it from, said he might would haul it. Let's cross that bridge when we get there. I've got several trips to make to get the heads up here, two corn heads and a grain head. Anyway, I've been babbling for almost three minutes now. We'll let you guys go for today. I'm gonna go home and give me some supper. Hope everybody had a good Memorial Day weekend. If you think about it, drop down the link, drop down in the description of the video, I will put a link to the IP Farms Pennies on the Dollar merchandise. Hats, shirts, stickers, whatever you guys want. Um, appreciate all the ones that have ordered from me. Hope it'll be something you're interested in. See what happens over the next couple of days, guys. Till then, thank you.